one eleven eleven sports blog. Now let's get this started with NBA news. The Melo trade talks. Melo doesn't see a trade to the Nets anytime soon. Now Melo said that he really doesn't see himself going to the Nets anytime soon. So when he said he wanted to go to New York, I think he meant the Knicks, not the Brooklyn Nets. And the problem to this trade is Al Harrington. The Nets don't want to take Al Harrington. Al Harrington um, has four years left on his contract. And they don't want to take him. So, actually, Al Harrington is being useful by stopping this trade from going down, which I applaud. Because I'm a Knicks fan, again, and I want Melo to go to the Knicks. And the Nug still in Melo trade talks, the Nuggets threatened to trade Melo to the Knicks. They told the Nets if they didn't keep the talks private, if they stop um, publicizing them, of course, to the media, um, that they were going to trade Melo to the Knicks. And I really think that the Nuggets are really going to trade Melo to the Knicks because they're really angry of how public these talks have become. So that caps off the Melo trade talks. Now on to other NBA news. The Celtics could get Garnett back as early as Wednesday. Again, like I said in my other video, Garnett and Perkins might be back, but Garnett might be back um, tomorrow. And these are last night's games from around the league. Memphis heads to Charlotte, picks up a loss, 96-82. Houston travels to Boston and picks up a victory, 108-102. Detroit heads, heads to Chicago, 95-82 Chicago wins that. Now I'm going to talk about the Knicks at Lakers game. But first, some highlights from NBA.com. The New York Knicks have beaten the Lakers since February of 2006, but the Knicks have won nine straight against the Western Conference. And before we get to the game, how about a fashion lesson? from Walt Clyde Frazier. The lesson here, you gotta coordinate. Walt Clyde Frazier bringing it when he gets to Hollywood. How about some first quarter action? Wilson Chandler with the one-handed punch. Knicks up 10-4, he was eight of 18 from the field. Later in that first quarter, Lakers fighting down low. Ron Artest, tough move there, and then just starts mixing it up with the Knicks, and the Knicks don't like it. Sean Williams not backing down, and of course, Ron Artest not backing down at all. He picks up a technical foul. Second quarter now, Shannon Brown strong to the hoop. 16 points on the night. The Lakers up by four, 34 to 30. Still second quarter off the miss. This the rookie, Landry Fields, bringing that one home. 12 points in the eight boards for him, and we're tied back again at 34. Later in the second, Kobe missing. Pau Gasol hustling and getting the layup. 20 points, 14 boards. That's a double-double, and that's what the Lakers want out of Pau Gasol. Time winding down in the second quarter, less than a minute to go. Get it to number 24, Kobe stroking a three. He was three of six from range. Later in that third quarter, it's Pau Gasol lobbing it up to Kobe, and Kobe goes and gets it and brings it home. 27 points and 10 rebounds for Kobe. Lakers up by a dozen, 66-54. Coming right back, though, are the Knicks. Amari Stoudemire, nice jump shot there. Lakers up 72-58, though Amari had a double-double, 23 points, 10 rebounds. How about Andrew Bynum down low? Strong move there, jamming that one home, 18 points and seven boards for him. Less than a minute to go in the third now, and Amari Stoudemire falling down hard on this play. Ron Artest took him down. These two disagree again, and it's a flagrant one for Ron Artest. End of the third quarter, Shannon Brown. That's flagrant right there. How about that? Knocking down that jump shot. Tough shot from Shannon Brown, and George Lopez is indeed loving it. Fourth quarter now, Andrew Bynum gets called for the foul on this one. He doesn't like the call at all, and Andrew Bynum is kicked out of the game. Looked like he went straight up, but maybe got a piece of Amari's hand there on that shot, but you can't go up to the ref like that. Andrew Bynum ejected from the game later in the fourth. Derek Fisher outside. He'll finish this thing off nicely. The Lakers cruise home in this one. They take it by a big margin. Final score, 109-87. to The video doesn't mention that Felton had 12 points and Chandler had 19 points, 3 steals, and 3 blocks. It also doesn't mention that Amari Stoudemire had 6 blocks. Um, keys to this game for the Knicks, um, poor shooting from the co-captains. Amari Stoudemire was 7 for 24. Raymond Felton really didn't shoot that well either from 3. He was 2 for 6. Uh, Wilson Chandler didn't shoot that well from 3 either. He was 0 for 5. Um, they died from the 3. 
The Knicks shot 32% from three compared to the Lakers 47.1% from three, which isn't good for the Knicks. They utilized a lot of ball movement, but it was like three wasn't going down. So they just kept shooting threes because you know how the Knicks are. When they take threes, they think they can make them. And then when they miss threes, they still think they can make them for some strange reason. Um, and the Knicks missed free throws. Um, they, they only made 68%. From the free throw line, that's not good. Free throws are supposed to be free. You're supposed to make all of them. You're supposed to make free throws. Come on now. Um, for the Lakers, Odom had 13 points and eight, 18 rebounds, which was a season high. Um, the keys for this game, the Lakers had the size advantage. Um, commentators Mike Breen and Walcott Frazier mentioned this in the beginning of the game that they had the size advantage, and the Knicks were taking um to taking it to Gasol. And bind him in the beginning, but then like the Lakers just turned it around. And the Lakers own the glass due to the size advantage. Um, they the mar the difference between the rebounds was 19, and it was 61 to 42. And the Lakers had 61 rebounds. Of course, the Knicks had 42, and that is not good. Amari Stoudemire couldn't get rebounds over people like Andrew Bynum and Paul Gasol. Ronnie Terry have not even played that long. To get a rebound, to get like rebounds like that, or even points. And for both of the teams, um, this game was a very physical game, and it was very sloppy. I saw a lot of sloppy basketball during the game from both the Lakers and the Knicks, and especially the Knicks. Um, at the end, it was the Lakers looked like a championship team. At the end, the Knicks looked like a tired team that went on the road to face the champions, which is what they did, but. They didn't look so good. Um, and the game was very physical. A lot of fouls were being called, which was good. Um, Andrew Bynum got thrown out, as you saw in the video. And Ron Artest tried to start stuff. Is it me or is it every game that I see, Ron Artest is always trying to start some something with someone? I don't get it. I don't get what's wrong with him. Ever since that Pistons Pacers brawl, he think he can do just about everything to anyone. He tried to start something with Amari Stoudemire. Um, <clears throat> Mari Stoudemire might kill Ron Artest because Mari Stoudemire looks like he's about that lifestyle. But this sells up this sports blog, so this is BX Waller, 1-11-11 sports blog, signing out.